Okay, right, that took a little bit longer than I wanted to get that set up. Uh, that song is coming out at the end of the year, by the way, and you can pre-order it at the end of this month. Smooth sponsorship, not sponsorship, it's self-promotion, but smooth promotion. Anyway, yeah, that song is actually coming out um, at the end of this year. Um, it will be in the uh, Odyssey EP, which you can you'll be able to find uh, if you look underneath the stream on December 29th or, in, or on September 30th, I think. Um, because I'm only allowed to set up pre-orders in 90 days before it comes out and I think that'll be September 30th, yeah. So September, uh, September 30th, if you wanna if you wanna actually buy that, you can. Um, and the pre-order gives you instant access to that specific song, so you get that song straight away. Um, while I've got you here, and while I'm talking about the pre-orders for, um, for that, let me just uh, do this, and this is uh, what it'll look like if you go there on September 30th, it'll cost £1.50, it's four songs. That specific song is Seasons. There are three others, including Odyssey, which is December 29th, obviously. Um, yeah. December 29th, this is coming out. It's September 30th, end of this month. You can pre order it and get Seasons straight away. There you go. Smooth sponsorship. I am truly a master of my craft. Uh, okay. With all that out of the way, let's actually play Thea, I guess. Okay, I need to enable requests, because I just realised some requests have been disabled. Enable to restore video mode. Good, it crashed. Okay. Um, also, you might have noticed that there's a new donation goal thing on the screen, because, I mean, apparently £55 have already been donated, so... I figured I might as well actually set up a goal for it. So there you go, two hundred and five pounds for an XLR microphone setup. That's the that is very loud, and I just realised you cannot hear it. Good. Um, give me a second. I don't need to do that because I have a hotkey for that. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, I will turn off music because I don't really care and we will uh, load the wrong file is what we're gonna do. Whoops. Um, load game. Pre... 2337... 23... It's probably the one that I just loaded actually then. Yeah, this is the right one. That sensitivity feels way too high. I need to lower that. Uh, controls, mouse. It is already as low as it can go. Never mind, I lied. Uh, I just need to get that back up. Tap back in. Okay. I just realised actually you can't see who's speaking. Who cares? Who cares about who's speaking? It doesn't matter. Uh, okay. I can probably like throw that at the top of the screen to be honest rather than a uh, thingy on the top left. Given that stuff is appearing in the top left, I don't think anything appears at the very top of the screen. In this game anyway. It's not really covering up that much though, you can still sort of see what, what's going on. Oh, great. This was on the hardest difficulty, wasn't it? I just remembered. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this was on the hardest difficulty and it's been a while since I played it so I need to remember the controls real quick that I set up. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, is there anyone else here? Oh. Sorry, 
Yes, yes, Laura. Are they going up the stairs? Wait, what? <laughs> sure, that does it. Whatever. Uh, health button is that one? Okay. Right, this is good because this gives me a chance to remember all the controls because I don't remember. Is that grenade? That is grenade. Okay. Okay, I think I remember like all the important controls then at this point. Shoot through that, can I? Wait, what? Oh, it's that one. Oh. Can I just. Oh no, wait, you're coming up here. Yeah, I realised way too late there were stairs then, but it's fine. Nothing bad happened. Uh, help you, sir. Where am I actually going at this point? Oh crap. I love the shotgun in this game so much. It's easily like the number one shotgun. <laughs> uh, I can use that. I don't remember. Yeah, you can just pick them up. Okay. I, was, I wasn't sure like how the ammo worked. It's been a while since I played this. It was like six months ago. Okay, cut me some slack. I, I, I don't remember how this game works exactly. It's been, it's been a little while. What's the melee button? That one. Okay. Fine, I'll take that. Oh no. What? Ha sure. W I'll I'll go with that. I'm I'm not sure exactly what just happened, but I'll I'll pretend I understand so that I can act cool and get all the recognition from whatever the hell that was. Is anyone over here? Probably. Yes. I actually got that guy. Can I just do that? I don't see him because of the smirk. I'm trying to remember the controls now because I've, uh, I've messed. I messed with them like six months ago, and it's 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 really confusing, mate. Okay, right. I've got it. I know what I'm doing. I've got this figured out. That's that. That's grenade. That's melee. G does nothing. Z is heal. Okay. Just the combat in this game is so great. The horror elements are kind of eh, but the combat itself is absolutely incredible. Uh, but oh, I didn't even need to heal. Okay. Why is there another health kit? I, I'm on full. Oh crap! Okay. That's why I was in the health curtain. Did I actually hit that guy? No. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. This is really not going well anymore. Wait, is he dead? Oh no, I got them all. It was going fine and then it wasn't and everything went wrong. Uh, I might actually just go back, get the other health kit and then uh, heal again. There it is. Again. Can I jump over that one? Oh, I can. Right. Yeah, I'd rather not do that. This is a loading screen, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty much whenever there's a drop like that, it's pretty much always a loading screen into a new area. Pretty much every time in this game, I think. Uh, why do I have the FPS counter enabled on Steam? I don't know. You can't see it, but I'm getting like 200 FPS right now, apparently. Okay, I didn't need to know that. Wait, what's the... T, right, okay. I forgot what the flashlight was, but it's T. Uh, oh. Huh? Oh, which way am I actually like supposed to go? Okay, that way. So. Yeah, I don't really have a choice to see why I have to go this way. Okay, that's fine. Uh, is there anything else? No, there's nothing else for me to like pick up anywhere. There's not like weapons anywhere here. Okay. Yeah, there's like nothing to pick up and I'm really disappointed. Oh no. There's another health kit. Mm. Stay out of my way. Nah, I think I'm gonna get gonna get all up anywhere. Why am I still moving slow? Okay, I stopped. Good. Activate that. Another corpse. There's, there's still nothing in here for me to pick up yet. Remote grenades at least, that's something. Uh, sorry, microgravity, what? I wasn't listening to anything he just said. I, I activated it and then zoned out. Oh great. Oh you're invincible. Okay. That's fine. I'll just not shoot you then. Can I not? I swear you normally can't- I oh, know. I swear you normally can, like... I'm disappointed. Whatever. Uh, so nothing. Oh no, wait. Oh. Oh, okay. Never mind. This is just disappointing. I'm. Th there is nothing here for me to pick up. I was hoping there'd be like something, but no. Uh. Oh, hey, you're an actual enemy this time. Good. Well, did he just go around me like super quick? It's goddamn ninjas. Who do they think they are? Huh. And I can hear you moving around. Wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Um...
What? Where did he go? Oh, right there. Okay. Can you please stop? Thank you. Okay. Amacam's Technology Corporation. With a. That is a disgusting Vez. Vaz? Vez Vaz. Yeah, it deserved that. It, it, it really deserved that. Why is there a satellite here? Oh, Technology Corporation, right. Okay, I, I, I guess they're doing satellite things as well. Okay. That, that makes sense, actually. I'm just being stupid and not thinking about it. Was there anything actually in here, or was I just getting distracted by ninjas? Um. That is a mouse. I'm, I'm getting too much enjoyment out of this. Oh wow, okay. I, I, I shouldn't be getting this much enjoyment out of just punching random things, but... Uh, oh, you're yeah, there. You can. Uh, right. Yeah, there is just nothing in here. For me to pick up so far. Well, there's a dead guy. Um, keyboard. They put more effort into that than the mouse, at least, so that's a bit uh, a plus. Um. Okay. November. I guess we're in November then. I'm getting very distracted. I, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm not, but... Back to you. That was Diego uh, SMG, there's... I can pick that up. Grenades, first... Yeah, I can take that as well, because actually there's another one there, so it doesn't matter. The shadows in this game are really cool as well. I I I, I absolutely love so much about this. I oh know there's a dead guy. Wait, what? That looks like a room where more people are going to come out of. Oh, there's a clock. It's, that can't be the current time. There's no way that's the current time. Uh, in game, anyway. That's definitely not the current time in real life, because it's 7pm, and that was 1.15. But I can read clocks, it just took me a second because I'm kind of a bit tired right now, but it's fine. I've been really tired today. I couldn't sleep properly this morning, so... Not the most to work at the minute, but that's fine. What? How do I get up there? Nope. Uh, there has to be a way up there, right? Um, I'm not just like missing something really obvious. Or is it like somewhere else that I'm. It's probably somewhere else, isn't it? Did I even anyone interact with that? I'm. 
Why is there a dead guy up there? I don't know if there's anything else up there, but... Hmm? Don't shoot! My name is oh, Lonnie you. Lonnie. Right. I'm an engineer. Give him a comm link. <laughs> oh, that'll be how I get over there. Okay. How's that? Mm. But there's just a medkit up here, that's it. I already have ten, like, I, there are way too many first aid kits in this game. Like, I'm, I'm doing fine for health, I, I really don't need more. I didn't mean to slide through that, but that looked really cool, so I'm not gonna complain. Um... Shut down security system, okay. Rip. Uh, nobody here. Oh no, I come back here later, don't I? Yeah. I think so. I don't remember. I don't remember. It's been a while. Um, can be a. That's a pretty cool screensaver. You have one new message. First message from Wait, Ian the phone isn't even connected. Jordan, it's Ian Hive. Look, um, Rose Wade stopped by my office. This is Bravo 12. We're in position. Copy Bravo 12. Check in at 10 minute intervals. Listen. Bravo 12 out. Where did you go? Oh, you're all over that. Okay, that explains that. That was dumb. I shouldn't have done that. Any more? Or is that? It? That's about it. Oh, I'm going backwards. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know. I need to go this way. Uh, all of those. Okay. That's guns. Okay. Oh, you're not all dead. Right. Oh no, you are definitely not all dead. Oh. Good. I I wasn't ready for that. Why were the three of them there? That's way too many. So yeah, there was nothing for me to like pick up around here, was there? Um, don't think so. That did not go where I wanted it to. Are you all done now? Or are there still like three more hiding around that corner that I have to worry about? There's probably still three more around there, but. Yep. That one must kill me. Mm. 
Would you like to move any further out into the open? Thank you. Thank you so much. That was so polite. That is just a cloud of smoke. I cannot see anything. Okay. Uh, was there actually anything in here or was it just those two? It was just those two. That's fine. Uh, oh right, so that's how I get in here. And there's all that. And I should probably be using some of the other grenade types. But whatever. Uh, okay. That rotten? Uh, right, there's a wall. Wait, this isn't reloaded. Okay, yeah, then that's unlocked, and then does that... Where? Oh, do I have to go all the way back? I don't remember. I think I went the wrong way. Judging from the search of this area, I'm pretty sure I went the wrong way. Maybe. I don't know. Well, no, because that wasn't open only, was it? So I'd have to go back that way. That would make the most sense, because that leads directly out to here. Um, yeah, because that was locked. So it must be back here then, right? Oh crap, yeah, it is back here. Uh, it's behind you. Okay. I'll, I'll have a look. Do you want to, uh... Would you also... Wait, is there another one? Okay. Where? I, I still don't know where I'm going, but... Oh crap. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. He just stood in the grenade. Why did you stand in the grenade? What are you doing? Can... Can you do that again? Please? Thank you. Maybe. Do I have to, like, do that? That went too far. <laughs> like, you're not here. Oh, you went all the, all the way over there. Okay, that explains it. Okay, right, that should be that then. Yeah, there's a laptop here. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how physics do, apparently. Uh okay, server rooms, so that's where I need to go, right. This is Jin. We're on the roof. Heading inside. Copy. Uh, okay. Is this supposed to be all is this supposed to be a spoopy bit? Okay. Am I supposed to do that and then is something spoopy supposed to happen? I thought something spoopy was going to happen. I didn't mean to just punch two men in the face. That was not what I was trying to do. <laughs> sure, we'll, we'll go with that. I mean, it did surprise me because I wasn't expecting that, but it's not. it didn't surprise me in the way that I was expecting it to surprise me. Uh, how is mowing down SWAT goons spoopy? Because they're not SWAT goons, they're telekinetically linked SWAT goons. And they're not actually SWAT goons, they're clones that are telekinetically linked and all have access to the same... I, I don't know, it's, it's weird. 
There's, there's a story in here somewhere. Oh, here's Spoops. Look, there's a girl and blood on a window. And she's an, an experiment or something. I, I don't remember the story very well. But the combat is a lot of fun. <laughs> oh no, okay, this, this is a spoopy bit. She is the original. Okay. Oh wait, there's health, I should take that, hold on. Is there anything else in here, actually? Okay, that, that's that's good to know, but I'm trying to see if there's any secrets here. Okay, f f thank you for law, but I'm I'm trying to... Okay, there's nothing here. Uh... <laughs> okay, sorry, I, I, I just had to do that real quick. Uh... That is definitely a pane of glass. Oh, we're doing this again. Okay, we're doing more of the spoopy ghosts that are going to do loads of damage if I don't shoot them. Because ghosts do that, apparently. Okay. She is a prisoner. Good to know. Can I... Oh no, I didn't actually take any damage there. Okay. Good to know, but I'm trying to do stuff. Can you please be quiet? I'm trying to look for like health upgrades. Okay, I guess I can't really ignore this one, can I? Like, yeah, that's that's pretty obvious. What do you think, Jen? There was a lot of anger in this room. Re really? Uh, was this in the age of bullet time shooters just after the Matrix? Yes, yes it was. It came out in like 2000 and something. The camera's not turned on. What are you doing? Almost complete liquefaction. How are you expecting? It, how are you expecting to take pictures when the camera isn't even... <laughs> the only bullet time shoot I ever played was Max Payne. Um, well, outside of Max Payne, this is the only other one I've ever played. Also, loading screen, because whenever there's a drop, there's a loading screen. Sometimes there's a, there's a loading screen that's away from a drop, but most of the time, if there's a drop, a, that's, actually, that's actually a really clever way to make sure that you can't go backwards now that I think about it. Just make you jump down so you can't go back up. That's that's actually kind of smart, but... What the hell? Oh wait, more of the ninjas. More of the ninjas? More of the ninjas, okay. Can you tell this also came out after like having everything be interactable was like a huge thing? Oh crap. Yeah, that painting does not give up. Wait, what? Okay. Wait, is there someone? Is that above me or is that behind me? I can't tell. I should probably just use this. Yeah, that that, that was way easier. Okay. <laughs> but it's not just like a generic shooter because you can have three weapons at a time instead of just two. And you can choose to carry three weapons with you. I I, I really do like the combat in this game, it's just a lot of it is really generic or not interesting. Like, the spoops aren't very spoofy, and the story is... Is it even a story? Like, I, I get they wanted an excuse to have enemies that sort of can... 
um, like interact really well with one another. Like the, the enemy AI is really good, but I don't think they needed an excuse to like. I don't think they needed like a story excuse for that. The enemies like already communicate everything that they're doing with each other, so it already makes sense. But make them telekinetic as well, and all linked together, and I'll make them all clones and do all this other stuff. Also, the lighting is real nice, but... Like, I can't think of many games where I'd see something like this, but... Um... You have one new message. And I was now light in that room. Radios and earbuds are a thing that actual SWAT uses. Yeah, exactly. Like, they didn't have to come up with, like, this weird excuse to make sure that, like, it made sense. Um. That's a lot of people. <laughs> but I guess they also might have wanted to do a horror thing as well, in which case, sure, but I don't know. Like, it just. It doesn't. It just comes off as kind of goofy to me more than anything. And even then the horror is kind of generic as well, like, got ooh, evil, spooky child that murders people for some reason. I don't know. The, I like a lot of what this game does right, but at the same time I also don't like a lot of it. Max Payne's dream, uh, dream and drug sequences are creepy and made sense. Yeah. True. Finally! Can you do something about these bombs? Right, yeah, that's not my problem. <laughs> and really? Is it really and? I I would have never been able to guess. <laughs> Hello? You guys special forces or something? That's right. Just sit tight, mister. Bishop. Aldous Bishop. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> uh, what the elevator? Where was the elevator? I don't know. <laughs> um, elevators. Okay. F f thank God there's a sign. I wouldn't have known. Wait. That's, that's not right, but okay. <laughs> the little boops, yeah, just 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 gotta gently boop them. Like, th there is no restroom here, or lobby, or elevator. That way I could probably believe it, but... Uh. Oh no, hey, my health good. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, I... Uh, uh, Small things. I don't know. What is the point of this room? <laughs> um. Oh, there's nothing over here either. Does it planning to plan? What are they planning to plan? I, I want to know what they're planning to plan now. Uh. Okay, right. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing anymore at this point. I'm just like... I don't know. Some, someone please send help. I, I feel like I'm losing my mind here. Uh, well these are the elevators, right? You're not who I was looking for. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, please, no. <laughs> uh, okay. If I was prepared for that, that might have gone a little bit better, but I... I okay, right. <laughs> Good to know that the guy wasn't right there. Okay. 
Can I not miss? That would be nice. I didn't plan my plan. No, I didn't. I should have planned better. But there's another one, isn't there? Yeah, there's two in there, and then... Okay. And then there's big beefy guy. You're not big beefy guy, you're big beefy guy. Come on. Is it just you? I don't like that that one... <laughs> Beefy man can take many shots to the face. I... Okay, right. I was gonna say, I didn't like that that one was still active, but... Okay, it's fine. Uh, I'll take that. Wait, what are you? <laughs> <We're through>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, alright. That's fine. I don't know why I find that so funny. But there was really nothing funny about that. Uh, wait, can I not take those? Okay. Wait. What am I? Okay. Okay, good. Um, what was I doing again? Oh yeah, looking for the hostage. Right, yeah. <laughs> I was still holding the mouse, so I... <laughs> oh god. Wait, what are you... What are you doing here? <laughs> Bomb expert? That's right. Don't worry, you'll be fine. <laughs> Just get this shit off me. Please. Whoever rigged this is definitely strong. <laughs> Is that supposed to make me feel better? You may be a pro. I don't know why I'm finding this so funny. There was nothing funny about that. <laughs> he rolled his way to safety. Yeah, th this guy, this guy is just having a great day. He's finding his way out. Okay, you better not explode because I don't know what'll happen if you do. Cause of the fire alarm, is it more spoops? Is that what it is? Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I don't need that. Oh, right. <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny. There was that. There was genuinely nothing funny about that. It's just, oh uh, God, whatever. <laughs> I'm just in a weird mood at the minute. I think. Oh wait, is it this part? I think I know what this part is. Maybe if I remember. Like, can I? Can I go in there? I can go in there. Oh, hi. <laughs> I think I was supposed to just turn around and then like see her through the glass but I went out to her instead. Uh, the bit right is dying. That's fun. I love it when this happens. Okay, I think it recovered a lot quicker that time than it normally does. Uh, yeah. Wait, has it? Because I'm still dropping crumbs. Yeah, I'm still dropping, like, a thousand frames. A thousand, one hundred, and two hundred, and... Two hundred? Have we stopped? Are we done? Are we done dropping frames? Yeah, we're done dropping frames. Okay. That's good. Uh, it buffered f for a second, that's fine. Yeah, it, I, I, I don't know why that's been happening recently, but it has. Like, I don't have anything up and that should be messing with, with it, so I think it's just my internet that's dying. Um... Wait, what? Ooh, there's a thing there. Wait, am I actually supposed to go up there? Am I actually doing the right thing? I am doing the right thing. I'm just doing it in the wrong place. I 
I'm actually really surprised that I did the right thing completely unintentionally. What is the purpose of this vent? <laughs> I refreshed and came back to an ad. Oh no. That's 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 horrible. doing anymore. What is what is any of this? Oh, okay. Can I can I go down there? <laughs> wait, wait. What hold on. Hold on a second. Why why does that Okay, right. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fine, I guess. What if I hold on? Cause it seems like they weren't solid. Yeah, they're not. Wait, that one is. That's really disappointing. Oh well. Whatever. Ma law. If it wants to carry on with the law. Well, there we go. The uh, is this where the the drones start coming? Whoops! I didn't mean to do that. I mean, I could have gone through that one, but. Going through a window that's already open isn't as cool as, like, just busting through a window. Wait, where's the other guy? But there was another- I don't trust that. Okay. That's completely fine. Um, th there was a third, right? Or am I? Or did I not count? Because I swear there were two over there, and there was a guy over there. Uh. <laughs> I I don't know anymore. I think I got them all, but... Shooting beefy men in the face since 2019. What kind of person stands next to an explosive barrel, really? Why, why would you ever do that? Uh, are we... are we safe? One who's tired of living. Okay, right, never mind, that makes sense. I understand now. <laughs> I I don't know if I want to go that way yet. Answers to that question, I definitely want to go that way. You know, just come closer, I'll just shoot the barrel, that seems... That seems way easier. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just just come towards the very clearly marked yellow barrel with red markings on it. I'll don't worry, you'll be fine. Uh, I should probably heal there as well because there's still one there. Uh, that is not one of them. Okay, that's also explode. I could have just shot that. I don't remember when the drones appear in this level. I don't know if it's like right now or if it's in a, if it's in a minute. Because 
the drones were kind of a pen, but they also weren't. Moral of it is- OH FOR f Oh no. Nope! How did I get away with all of that? How- what? moment of panic as I turned around and just saw three guys stood there. Like, oh, how, how did that not go badly? I... okay. All right, I'll, I'll take it, but I, I really don't feel as though that should have happened. Uh... oh. There we go, that's what I want them to do. Oh no! I can't see through the smoke. There's nobody here. Okay. Okay, we're fine. I, I feel as though I'm getting away with stuff that I really shouldn't be allowed to at the minute. But... Uh, is there anything else? Am I- I feel like I'm missing something. I know I am because there's a thing up there. Yeah. How am I supposed to... Do I have to go up there to get up there? Oh, it's that way. Wait, this goes the same way. to do that. Okay, never mind. This this goes up here anyway. Wait, so if this isn't the way I'm supposed to go, then where am I supposed to go? Oh, over here. <laughs> I was immediately drawn to the two ultimate paths that take you to an upgrade rather than- oh god, I forgot I set that as the thing. Thank you. Okay, I guess. I guess that was you. I, I didn't see the notification. Um, I was taken off guard because I forgot that I set that as the notification sound. Uh, yeah, that is... I mean, first of all, thank you for the five pounds. Secondly, um, the... That is actually a sound that I made for something else. Is my alarm going off? No, it's not 12 thigh. Okay. I don't know what I was hearing then. Yeah, I made that sound for something else and then I figured, hey, that sounds like it might work for the shrimp, so... Yeah. Uh... Oh uh, yeah, another example of a place where you drop and then there's a loading screen. Because there's nowhere to get back up once you drop down here, so... You can't go back. Uh, like... It, 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 lo it looks like you should be able to jump back over this, but you just can't. Keep out. Yeah, the, the sign is keeping me from going backwards, obviously. Is what it is. Oh, great, I messed it up. The fuck? What was all that light? Oh. What was all that light about? Uh, we'll make this one pixel too high so they can't return. <laughs> well, you know, the, you can't go backwards if it's too high to jump back over. Even if it looks like you probably might be able to. I don't know. I feel like you do more damage in bullet time as well, but I don't actually know if that's true or not. That could be a complete, like, lie that I just made up. At the very least it's two, three, oh no it's the same damage. Okay, I'm just stupid. <clears throat> Is there an explanation on the bullet time in this? You have very fast reactions.
you can just focus really hard for a short amount of time. It's not bullet time, it's reflexes. I think that's actually what it's called, hold on. Uh, no, it's just slow-mo, but uh, the, the, the upgrade is reflex boosters. And I think the in-game explanation is something like you just have really good reaction times. So they they tried. They they they, they definitely tried. This there's definitely gonna be an enemy in here, right? There wouldn't be an explosive if there wasn't, yeah. You gonna Oh no, no you're not, you're gonna go that way. <laughs> Can I just do that? That hit someone. That grenade hit someone because it only explodes immediately if it hits someone. I don't know who it hit, but <laughs> definitely hit someone. Are you alive? How? Oh no. Why did? Why are they coming from? Like. He survived the grenade, and then this guy comes out of nowhere. Where? Oh, hey, another 10mm HV penetrator. <laughs> and I'm sorry, so Matrix was cool. Yeah, Matrix was cool, and then everyone overused bullet time because bullet time is a cool effect. Why don't we all use it? Uh, light body armor. Okay. Wait, there's another explosive over there. Oh. I don't even notice that one. That was probably for them to blow me up, actually, now that I think about it. Because I think they do sometimes see that. <laughs> we will all use it, then we will be cool too. <laughs> I mean, it was basically tradition, like, in the early 2000s for everything to have slow motion if you wanted to be hip and cool. Oh great, the only part of the game where you're not fighting clones. Instead they're just security guards. Can I not die? That would be good. Do they still take the same amount of hits? I can't tell because I'm getting shot. No, they take one less headshot. Are there any interesting monsters? Well, no, it's just people. Well, that guy's already dead. Oh, come on. Why do these security guards have the communication of, like, have the knowledge and, like, coordination abilities of the telekinetic soldiers? This is stupid. She's just like using slow mo for really mundane tasks. <laughs> that sounds like it would be horrible. Why would I do that? There's still, still someone up there as well. Look out, grenade. <laughs> I didn't go around there too. Went in the door at least. If there's someone in that door, they're dead. Uh, because they have radios! <laughs> the technological telepathy. Yeah. I guess. Uh, okay. I only have five health hits. Is there another guy up there? Is oh wait, they have what the hell? Where did? Okay, well, there's another one. I know, I know that now. He's over here. <laughs> Why are they 
they all coming from? Like, I just, I don't even see them. And then next thing I know, like five people come out of the woodwork and uh, there's another one. Th 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 there's another two. What? What is any of this? There's just so many people everywhere. So, I swear you weren't there a second ago. <laughs> maybe you were, maybe you were just hiding behind that box the whole time. I don't know, but... These people, they're just... These people are crazy. I think, I think these security guards are the real threat here, like... They're hiding in just all these weird places. Okay, that's back the way I can, right? Uh, G202, don't really care about that one. Why would I care about that when I have a gun that shoots literal metal spikes at people and can impale them? Also pistol. Also shotgun. question it. If that's how it wants to do, then that's how it wants to do. <laughs> okay, you can just see where the world ends. Uh, good old early 2000s games with their lack of detail and where am I going? Where am I going actually? I don't know. Uh, Wait, there's a... How did I miss that? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I don't think many people really cared, like, back in the early 2000s if the world suddenly cut off like that. And it's not like Half-Life 2 is sort of much better either. There are places in Half-Life 2 where you can see the world just cut off, but Valve did a much better job of hiding it by actually like curving things around a corner instead of just having like a straight street where you can see both ends of it. Half Life 2 does have things like that though as well and most games from around this sort of time. Where am I supposed to go? Um, did Half Life 2 come out around the same time? I think so yeah. I want to say this I want to say Half-Life 2 came out around 2004, I want to say this came out around 2004-2005, but I don't remember off the top of my head. I took fall damage, wow, okay. I nearly just walked off the roof. Oh wait, it's over here. Oh, it's over, it's over here. Okay. Half-Life 2 was a year earlier, okay. Yeah, like, I, I know this came out around the same sort of time as Half-Life 2 anyway. Um, not like exactly the same, but... Close enough that I feel as though I can compare them in sort of that sense when it comes to detail. like. I don't know, I have to see the sort of like general world detail a lot better, but I feel as though this does lighting a lot better, that's all I can think of. And I, I do like a lot about this game, it's just there's also a lot that's really not great about it. Um, and that I just don't really care for. Oh, okay. Well, that's open. Um, you know, Half-Life had the <laughs> no slow-mo and interesting enemies. Hey, I don't know about that. The, the main enemy for most of Half-Life 2 is just the Combine. And I didn't think the, the Combine were that interesting to fight against. Like, at least the enemies in this game have decent AI that make them actually interesting to fight. 
they're, they're, sure, they're not like interesting enemies, but it, it did get AI right in a lot of ways. Wait, this is this this breaks, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll, I'll take that as a yes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take that as a yes for that bricks. Okay. Like, <laughs> I didn't think the the enemies in Half Life Two were that great. In general, I don't really like Half Life Two as much as Half Life One. I feel as a Half Life One is a better game overall. Um, best enemy I think I've ever seen was a Hunters in Bloodborne. It feels like fighting another player. I wouldn't know because I haven't played Bloodborne <laughs> and I don't have a PS4. <laughs> um, and I still don't intend on buying a PS4 to play Bloodborne. Seal a PS4 already. But that means I have to find someone with a PS4 and then take. Actually, I, I know multiple people who have PS4s that probably would let me play Bloodborne. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that just happened. Wait, there's, a, there's an upgrade up there. Hold on, I, I I need that upgrade real quick. It's like, it's, wait, is that what I'm supposed to interact with? I wouldn't have even noticed if I hadn't, like, looked to the left then. Because I only saw it when I looked to the left. I wouldn't have even noticed that. Um, okay, great. If that's what I needed to interact with to carry on, the only reason I noticed that is because I saw that health upgrade up there. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't have noticed that if I hadn't seen the health upgrade. <laughs> Why are we going slow? Oh no. They left her in darkness. They left her die. Yeah, but you also just left me, so... Now, where am I, now, now what am I supposed to do? You can't just tell me that they left her in darkness and then leave me. That's just rude. Uh okay. <laughs> is there anything over here? This raises the water, right? Yeah. Cause I know at some point in this part you have to raise the water and then you have to go backwards, but I don't remember What does it just keep going? No, it doesn't. Half-Life 1 was a better game, but Half-Life 2 I feel like I'm again playing more. It felt better to control. Um, I don't know, I, I just in general I think Half-Life 1 did a lot of things better than Half-Life 2, but Half-Life 2 definitely deserves the recognition it gets for its storytelling. I don't necessarily think it deserves as much recognition for its gameplay or like mechanics or anything like that. The gravity gun definitely just felt like they were going, hey look at us, we have physics. And fair enough, they had physics, but yeah, it just it really didn't say much to me. The gravity gun, anyway. What am I doing? Do I have to go this way? Do I have to go down? I have to go down, okay. I don't know why that didn't occur to me, that raising the water would do something. Every, every game at the time was like, look at our physics, yeah, I mean, it, it was a huge thing, right? Like, physics didn't really exist, and then all of a sudden, boom, physics. It was easy to implement, and it didn't really have much of an impact on frame rates because they figured out how to do it properly. So, sort of properly. Some games did it worse than others, but for the most part, it was just havoc. It, it, was, it, was, it was just havoc. That's, that's all it was. At some point, havoc was made, and every game started using Havoc, I just realised I missed something, yeah. Um, 
And then every game used basically the same physics engine from like then on. Because havoc. <laughs> oh no. Uh okay. You're still alive. Can you not be? Thank you. Jeez. The there were three guys in this elevator. I only see two and a pile of blood. Uh <laughs> stick on a barrel or a piece of wood physics. Yeah, I I Could you be any louder? Uh, yeah, I, I literally just like kept crouching until I got unstuck. That's that's all I did. Wait, what? Ah. Now that is spooky. I mean, it also has like akimbo pistols, right? Because if you're gonna have bullet time, you might as well make it stylish as well. I need to go back because I think I missed like loads of stuff in that room. Uh, I have no clue. Yeah, there was armor. I should probably take that. Wait, I'm on full lamp. Never mind, I can't take that. I would love to, but <laughs> even though dual pistols doesn't work on reality, I mean, in theory, if you could practice a lot and sort of get used to the incredibly unbalanced handling of two pistols at the same time, you probably could. It would just take a very long time to get used to it and to aim even slightly accurately with them. In theory, that is probably possible, it's just it would take a lot of practice. And even then I don't think you'd be able to get very good, good at it because it's just not something that's easy to do. Who's there? Oh, oh, it's this guy again. Thing is, one well placed bullet is infinitely more effective than 50 ball. Hey, look, let's, let's not look at the amount of bullets you're wasting. Let's look at how stylish you look while doing it, okay? If you can sometimes shoot people accurately holding two pistols, that is gonna look way cooler than if you just shoot someone once, right? Okay. I'm just gonna come in here and uh... I, why do I feel that he's not supposed to be stuck in the vent? Yeah, I feel as though that's not supposed to... Was he supposed to fall? I feel like he was supposed to fall or something into like the blood. But he hasn't, so... Uh, you're gonna be dead, but damn, you're gonna look good on your way there. I mean, absolutely, yeah, that, that's the whole point. It's not about... <laughs> it's not about how, um... How good... Uh, how, how, like, how well you're shooting. It's all about how good you look while doing it. It's all a style thing. It's style over substance. Okay, there's people over there. But there's also someone in here. Okay. Oh no. Thank you. Okay, now you're not. <laughs> Style is always more important than substance, okay?
If you can do something and look really goddamn good luck doing it, like jumping around a corner and blasting someone with a shotgun in slow motion, why not? <laughs> it's all about how you look on the outside. Yeah, that's all it's about. Just as long as people think that you're cool, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter like how much of a mess you are on the inside, just as long as people think you look cool. That's all it is. That's not why I stream at all, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel as though like at least one person is going to take that seriously and think that I only stream to look cool and that's it. But it's fine. That's glass. Oh, that is glass. I, I didn't think that was glass for a second, but no, that is. That is also glass. Um... I should probably use different types of grenades. Check what? The mine? Why would you check the mine? Oh no wait, they're checking where I came from. Oh no, they're checking the door, are they? Can you please walk towards the mine that I just threw? You're too smart. <laughs> I want to be as cool as ever when I grow up. Please don't. That's, that's a terrible idea. Where'd the mine even go? Wait, did I throw it on the... It was the thing I just picked up, wasn't it? I, I threw it onto this deck. Hold on. Let me, let me have a look. If I go back, back here again... I think I understand why the mine didn't explode. I'm sorry, what? The mod free multi rock. Uh, I don't need this. I, I can get by with pistols and a shotgun, I think. I say that and then miss every s okay I'm just gonna have to close the gap. What? Yeah I'm just gonna have to close the gap, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> I, I literally killed him so hard he just vanished. Like I- okay. I feel like I'm missing something in this area but I had no clue. Is there something else in here that I'm just missing? Well, that's the area I was just in. Um, I'm gonna go back and have a look in this room again. No, I'm just feeling like I'm missing something when I'm not. I don't know, it's entirely possible I've missed an upgrade, but somewhere. But I do know that one. <laughs> um, I would hope that I haven't. I just don't know. I guess it's sound. I thought this was gonna be a loading screen. Wait, what? Wait, th this is gonna be a loading. That's not a loading screen! Oh my god. I... I was completely prepared for that drop to be a loading screen, but it wasn't. I'm so surprised by that. I don't know why, because I shouldn't be, but... Uh, do you have a favourite game of all time? Have I asked this? Am I losing my memory in my old age? Do I need to start taking Mesom Mesomusil? Uh, I, I don't think you have asked that. Um, 
I would say I don't I wouldn't say that I have a favourite game of all time, but I do have games that I that are definitely my favourites. Um Does it explode? No, it just says high voltage, why would that explode? What am I thinking about? Oh that's the rocket launcher. Um yeah, like some game like I mean, the obvious one would be Time Splitters 2. That is a game that I would definitely consider to be one of my favourites. Um, Evil Land 2 is up there as well. Um, the first Evil Land is kind of crap, um, but Evil Land 2 is a lot better. Um, it's basically just sort of an RPG set across sort of three different time bit there's the, the, the plot to do with time travel and stuff and um sort of each time period resembles sort of like a different era of gaming like the future is sort of 3d the present is sort of 16 bit i want to say and then the past is 8 bit um and there's like loads of different game styles that they throw in but like they, they never sort of like to last so long that they start feeling like they're being drawn out. Um, the first Evil Land I didn't like because it, it it just sort of feels like a tech demo, there's, it's too short, there's not much going on with it. Evil Land 2 is a way better game overall and it's actually a game, it's not just like look at all these references to old games and old RPGs, it's like we're actually just gonna focus on an actual story and make an actual game this time and it's so much better because of it. Um, like, the, whenever I recommend Evil Land to people, what I say is don't play Evil Land 1, just play Evil Land 2, that's it. Because you don't have to play Evil Land 1 to understand Evil Land 2, the stories are not connected. Um, what am I doing? I excavated something, didn't I? Yeah. Evil Land 2 is definitely up there. Uh, Time Splitters 2 is... Why are my favourite games? Why do all my favourite games have twos in them? Uh, I don't know. Time to do Evil Land 2, I'm trying to think, are there any others? I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Um, I would say Future Perfect, but after I replayed Future Perfect, I sort of decided it's not as good as I thought it was. Um, so not really Future Perfect anymore. Um, I expected that, yeah. I'm trying to think. Um, if I want to talk about Sue, I would probably say Half Life One as well. Um, Half Life One is just a game that I've put a lot of time into over the years. Like, I didn't actually ever finish Half Life One properly until a couple of years ago. I probably like, I think I first played it like over 10 years ago, but I've never finished it properly until a couple years ago. Because I would always get stuck at some point and I was bad at games and a wee babby and uh, I would basically just sort of end up messing around with SV cheats instead. Um, which is sort of what I did with a lot of games back then, I mostly just sort of messed around with cheats um, because I thought that was more fun and interesting. Um, Speaking of, it sucks that no modern games have cheats in them. Fuck you, modern games. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'd probably say Half-Life 1, especially because now that I've actually finished it all the way through. Zen still sucks, kind of, but... Halo 2, God of War 2, Mario World 2, Metroid 2 of the second sequels. <laughs> I've never really actually played the Halo games properly. Um, yeah, I've never really played the Halo games properly. Uh, Mario World 2, that would just be Yoshi's Island. I've never actually played Yoshi's Island either. Uh, I do love Super Mario World to death though. I don't know if I'd say it's one of my favourite games, but... Super Mario World is a game that I do like a lot. Um... Where am I going now? It's over here. 
I like the God of War games a lot as well. Uh, yeah, I've never really played God of War ever. There's a lot of games that I haven't played, and there's a lot of games that I have played. <laughs> um, and weirdly, most of the stuff that I have played tend to fall into sort of either niche stuff or weird stuff that people haven't generally heard of. Which is kind of weird that that's... Wait, what? That's kind of what it, it's just sort of turned into for me, but eh. Uh, where am I going now? I don't know. Is there anything actually... Well, there's a health kit. I can use that. I'm scared of my games when check out. Yeah. Can you please die? Thank you. I've tried playing like a lot of I, like I, I whenever possible I tried to play sort of like old games that sort of were good at the time and I've run into a few issues doing that. Um a lot of a lot of games still hold up to some extent. Oh, they're still fun to play, or they're still intuitive. But then you get to stuff like Fallout 1, and oh god, I could not play through Fallout at all. Wait. I could not play through Fallout at all. Um, it was just so slow to me. Uh, the original Dark Souls and Symphony of the Night may be my all-time favourite, second I was going back and play and enjoy them. Like, Symphony of the Night is a game that I think has aged really well. It's... It's still really good to sort of like go back and look at. And it's like a really definitive game as well because it's... it. I mean, it, Symphony of the Night was literally like one of the two games that is in the name of Metroidvania. But, god, Fallout 1. I've tried to play Fallout 1 and I just cannot. I haven't played Fallout 3, I remember playing bits of it years ago, but I think like the most I ever did was sort of left the vault and maybe blew a megaton a few times, that was it, I never really got far into it. And I've tried playing it again more recently, but um, yeah, I've tried playing it again more recently, it's just that it doesn't work on Windows 10 properly. And if you can get it working on Windows 10, it really doesn't want you to play it. So, yeah, that's not fun. Where? So, fun somewhere. Fallout 3 and Oblivion Villa, that's great games in their respective series. Hey, New Vegas. I haven't actually played through New Vegas properly either, but that's the one everyone always says. Although, to be fair, New Vegas wasn't made by Bethesda. Although, to be fair, Bethesda didn't make Fallout 1 and 2. So, where's that phone? Oh, it's here. Yeah, I've, I, I do have New Vegas and I might play for it at some point. Um, I don't know when that would be, but... Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh Nope. I meant to do that. I like New Vegas but not as much as Fallout 3. Um Yeah, I I really wouldn't know like what to say on that because I like I said, I've I've never played through Fallout 3 properly and the bits I did play through I didn't think were super interesting. And from what I've seen of like more recent videos on Fallout 3 anyway, the general consensus is that it's okay but it's not like super great and the things that I didn't like about it were basically extrapolated across the whole game so I probably wouldn't enjoy it if I played it. And to be fair I might not enjoy New Vegas that much if I were to play New Vegas either but yeah, I'm willing to give it a shot. Never know. Might be okay. Uh. That is going to be a sort. Uh, 
How am I supposed to... Can I just, like... So I've got the sorry and environment in Vegas so and grab me as much. I mean... I mean, I think the... the <laughs> From from what I'm aware of, like New Vegas and Fallout Three stories so far, um, but like just from the openings alone, like I would say New Vegas probably has a better opening of just you are person, create your character, and then role play as person that you create, as opposed to you have this very strict backstory where you grew up in this fall, and we're going to give you this huge tutorial that takes like thirty minutes. And God, it, the thing is, I I wouldn't mind trying to get Fallout Three working as much if you didn't have to play through like the first thirty minutes of the vault every single time. Like that vault opening is so. I knew that was gonna happen. It's just so slow and drawn out and really uninteresting that I just cannot bring myself to like actually play through it properly. Whereas in New Vegas it's just sort of, hey pick your stats, do a thing, go, go explore the world, be be your person, do whatever you want to do. Which feels more like actually open to role playing to me than Fallout 3 does. It's like the opening to Skyrim, it's suggesting the first time you see it then you never want to see it again, yeah. The first time it's like, oh that's cool, and then every time after that it's just, I'm gonna use an alternate start mod instead, because fuck doing this again. And it's the same thing with like the alternate start mods, it's literally just, you start the game straight away, you pick where you want to start, and then you can sort of like roleplay based on that. And that's a much better way of starting the game. I don't get why Bethesda don't do that, because it's way better game design. Just let the player do their own thing and decide who the character actually is rather than force them down a set path that they have to go through that lasts like 10 to 30 minutes every time they want to start the game. I think I found the whole gangster angle of New Vegas and interesting. I don't know. I, like, like I said, I didn't really get too far into it, so I, I, I don't really know like much. I think it is like the whole tutorial of New Vegas, which... To be fair, the tutorial of New Vegas isn't interesting either, but you can skip it if you want to. Uh, just, there's a dialogue choice that's basically just, I'm gonna skip this, thank you. And then you just skip it, so... Again, props to New Vegas for that, not forcing you to do something stupid when you don't have to. Um... There's a lot of stuff that I, I agree with on New Vegas when it comes to like the opening alone from what I've played so far compared to free. I think Bethesda just really need to get the shit together. Oh great, more ninjas. Uh, I think that's more ninjas. Like I haven't played Fallout 4 because I haven't played Fallout 1 or 2 or 3 or New Vegas properly. Um, but from what people have said of that, I can't wait for their own scroll six. The first needs to finish a game just one. I don't think the first I have ever finished a game. Like even the first Elder Scrolls games, they they have a lot of bugs. Th there's a bug in like Arena where if you go into a certain where am I going? I've lost again. Yeah, there's a book in Arena where if you go into like a certain dungeon and then pick up an item at the end of the dungeon, it marks whatever quest you're currently doing as complete. So you can just go into that dungeon, pick up the item, leave, start the next main story quest, go, in, go back into that dungeon, pick up the item again, leave, start the next story quest and then just do that until the game's finished. If they actually play, finish Elder Scrolls 6, I'll play it till I die and never ask for another Elder Scrolls game. If they actually finish Elder Scrolls 6, it's gonna be the biggest, probably one of the biggest open world games with so much packed into it that I don't think it would be possible to finish all of it in a lifetime. Unless they fuck up and make it mostly Radiant Quest that are repetitive and stuff like that. Which is Bethesda, they could do that. 
never say never that they might just do really repetitive radiant quests and not actually make anything interesting in the world, but you're still alive. Like, it, it depends entirely on what they put in the world that Elder Scrolls 6 has. Oh no. I think it, it could probably end up being one of, if not the biggest open world games with so much to do in it. But it depends on, like I said, what they allow you to do. Uh, most quests in Oblivion are more interesting, yeah. A lot of quests in, in Skyrim are just sort of like repetitive and interesting things. Oh, uh, where is this area? Oh god, okay. Yeah, I, I know what you mean, like, um, the, like, even just like from what I played of Oblivion on the stream, which wasn't, I mean to be fair, it's actually probably quite a bit, it's probably like at least like 20 hours on the stream, but from what I played of it so far on the stream, the, the quests in Oblivion are just way more unique than in Skyrim. Uh, Little Scrolls and Ether? Game. Got more and more and oh, I thought yeah. Got more and more hand holy as they went in as well. Yeah, I, I, I realise. Um yeah, I that's also a huge problem. I think they're just trying to make the games more open to like as many people as possible, but in the process they're also dumbing them down a bit too much. Um because obviously that's this part. Because obviously, um... Obviously like, Fallout basically has like, very few role-playing elements in it at all, in Fallout 4. Skyrim cut out a lot of role-playing elements. Um... and sort of made it feel a lot more generic as well. Oh no. There's a reason I picked up the rocket launcher earlier, this was it. <laughs> it's just because I didn't want to have to shoot that, because that takes way too many bullets. Um, for any media really, yeah. Any, I think, it entirely depends, like I think depending on the changes that you're making to something you can keep it you can keep it the same as it is while still making it more accessible but you have to be smart about it and not just entirely strip out elements like Bethesda have done like everything that they've done with Fallout 4 and Skyrim like Skyrim was at least sort of close to Oblivion still and to be fair, I don't hate most of the changes that they made to Skyrim. I think Skyrim still works really well um, as a role-playing game. It's just it, there could be a lot more of it than there currently is. And that's why a lot of people have made mods to add a lot more to it than there currently is. Um, but Fallout 4 is like completely in inexcusable. They basically just turned it into an action game. Uh, the more niche you make a piece of media, less people enjoy it, but the people do enjoy it more. I don't know, I think that entirely depends on how well it- how like- how- how- bleh, how well it's made as well. Like, there is an element of nicheness being in there, but it's also how well it is, how good it is just in general. I, I can't speak properly right now, I'm so sorry. But, yeah, like, Warning. there's an element Success of birth in detected. there, like, I think the more niche it is, definitely, like, it'll appeal to the people who enjoy the niche mob, but it also has to be made well. And... That is dependent upon actually making a good product, of course, yeah. Um, but, like, I think you could still make something good that sticks to a certain niche while making it more accessible. But you just have to be really smart about how you change things to make it more accessible. 
like th there are ways that you could do it. You just have to actually think about it and put time into the changes that you're making to make sure it doesn't absolutely destroy like the main point of it. Like with Fallout 4. <laughs> Fallout 4 went too far in like the way of accessibility. I think Skyrim was like a good compromise between... I don't want to do that. I think Skyrim was like an okay compromise between um, between accessibility and sort of staying as a role-playing game. But with Fallout 4 they just went, no fuck it, we're going pure action. Um, yeah, I, I, I think for, I think like in terms of Skyrim, like I, I really don't think Skyrim is as bad as people say it is. Like it's, it definitely marks like the start of Bethesda going, okay, accessibility. But if they put Skyrim to one more platform, I will burn down Bethesda Studios. Uh, okay, good to know. <laughs> oh right, this scene, cool. But I can still use bullet time here. Want to play a ceremony bridge? Go for it. I mean, really, who's to say that you're not allowed to play Skyrim on your fridge? Okay, they're all dead. Uh, good. Yeah, like, they, they have ported it to way too many consoles. I think when the next Xbox comes out and the PS5 comes out, you can definitely be sure that it's gonna get ported. Like, I will be surprised if they don't release a part for, like, the next-gen consoles when they eventually come out. I mean, they ported it to Switch, for God's sake. Like, I... I could expect them doing it for the next consoles. Even though they really probably shouldn't, because you can play it on every single goddamn thing that exists at this point, but... We gotta keep beating this dead horse till the Milgrim's from the uh, Milgrim's tree. I mean, people keep buying it, so the, the I mean, there's no reason for them to stop until it stops making them money. Like, I don't think the issue is that they keep doing it. Like, if you, like if, if you don't want to buy Skyrim again, you can just not buy Skyrim again. The problem is that people keep buying it, so they're gonna keep buying it. But why do people keep buying it? Because they want to play Skyrim on every single console that they own. That's why. Obviously. I mean, in fairness, I can sort of understand why you might buy the Switch version, because it's portable Skyrim, but... People keep buying Skyrim 14 times. Like, if you already have it on, like, a console, don't buy it again. And if you have it on PC, don't buy it on a console. Why would you do that? Unless you're buying the Switch version and, and you have a reason for it, like, I want to play it portably, in which case, I think that's a fairly valid reason to buy the Switch version of Skyrim. If you want to play it portably, there you go. It's your only way of doing it, but... Like... Just... Just buy it once and then don't buy it again. I like I had the 360 version of it, and actually to be fair, I didn't buy the 360 version of it. It was Amy, I think. Yeah, I think so. Um But Yeah, like I had that and then the only reason I bought the PC version was because mods. That was it. That's the only reason I bought the PC version. And then when the special edition came out, everyone who had the PC version got the special edition for free. So I didn't even have to buy the game again then. And I haven't bought it since because I don't care. I already have it on PC. There's no reason for me to buy it again. 
I, why do people keep buying Skyrim? I, I don't get it. Just stop buying Skyrim. There's no reason to do it. Oh look, a uh, uh, reflex booster. I got it for PC, PS3, it was so buggy I took it back, it was actually unplayable. Yeah, the I think the PS3 version is actually like one of the buggier versions of it. Like, from what I've seen on the wiki at least, yeah. From what I've seen on the wiki at least, like, most of the bugs are just on the PS3 version. For some reason. Um, I mean there's some that are like, across all platforms, but... And there's some bugs that... Bethesda have refused to patch even in the special edition, even after they've re-released it 14 times, but... How, how many times have they even released it at this point? Like, hold on, there's the PS3, Xbox 360, PC original release, not the special edition. Oh, but hold on, so that's... Okay, well if we're going off that... There's the three regular editions for, for PC and old-gen consoles. You've got... The three special editions for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. I, I'm not counting properly. That's six, yeah. And then you've got the Switch version, so that's seven. Is there another version that I'm not thinking of? There might be. There's at least seven versions of Skyrim. What? The, uh, why? There's probably other versions that I'm like completely... like blanking on, but... I, I think that's about it. I can't think of any other versions at the minute. Still there, seven versions of Skyrim. What do, do you have to buy it again? <laughs> if it comes out on like next-gen consoles and gets like another special edition release or just a part of the special edition, and it, people buy it again for some reason, I'm gonna be so confused. Wait, where am I going? Did I turn around? I think I turned around, didn't I? No, it's this way. It's this way. Okay. But yeah, the 360 version was like completely fine. Like, it had its bugs, but I never really ran into any. Now, he's here! Uh, Skyrim... Oh, VR! Yeah, there's the VR version as well. Although the thing is, the VR version is on... PSVR as well, isn't it? It's on PSVR and I want to say PC. So that's actually nine releases. There are so many versions of Skyrim. Wait, I'm back here again. Oh, I've got to do all this again. Again. Did I miss that one last time? I think I missed that one last time. I don't know. I'm, I, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Uh, oh no, yeah, I must have missed that one then, because I swear I picked up the reflex booster, but not the health booster. Uh, in 2021 we can have the 10 year anniversary edition. Uh, the anniversary of VR. Oh god, do you think that's what we're gonna do? Like, is it going to be the next-gen consoles come out and then it's going to just so happen to line up with Skyrim's, like, 10-year anniversary and then they're going to release Skyrim Anniversary Edition on the next-gen consoles? Is that what they're going to do? I don't know, like, when they're coming out, but... I feel as though that's a thing they would totally do if the, if the date's lined up. Uh, I was gonna say something, I forgot what it was now. 
I don't remember what it was. I, I don't know. I'm just... Uh, there's too many versions of Skyrim. It's like nine already. Because a not counting bullets, blah, 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 yeah, things. It's eight? Did I say it was eight? I don't remember. Hold on. Skyrim, Skyrim Legendary Edition. A Legacy Edition. Where? Legacy or Legendary? I don't know. Point is, there's like a lot of versions of Skyrim, and they and they still won't have a release date over all the Scroll Six. No, they won't. They'll just keep potting um, Skyrim until the end of time. Every console that exists will get a version of Skyrim. Oh, you're kidding, mate. Skyrim is the best Bethesda game. I mean, it's the best game that I've put the most time into. I, I wouldn't necessarily say that any of Bethesda's games are their best games. They're all... Oh, last. Oh, sorry. Skyrim is the last Bethesda game. What about Fallout Father? Fallout Father was the last. Oh, no, wait, because they keep potting. Uh, I get it. No, I'm stupid. Okay. No, I, I, I get the joke. Even after Bethesda dies, like... Even after Bethesda dies, some, some other company will get the rights to the Elder Scrolls and they'll keep parting it. They will carry on Bethesda's legacy. It is of the utmost importance that Skyrim exists on every console imaginable. A studio worth a damn will get the rights of Echo Scroll 6 and actually finish it. Uh, I mean, I don't know, I feel as though it would end up being something like EA or Ubisoft or something stupid like that. I don't think, like, with how recognized. Jesus, okay. I don't think of how um, like recognised the Elder Scrolls name is, it would sell for that low. It would absolutely only be bought by like the biggest publishers. Yeah, it gets it. It makes character customization microtransaction best. Yeah, you, you can actually only play as like free races when you get the game, and then you have to buy the rest. This is like DLC. Every other race is just actually <laughs> you, you you only get the race of the character that the um that the game starts you with. You only get the default race, and then after that, you have to buy every other race separately, individually, as DLC. And the uh, extra race DLCs will be released periodically. So they won't even all be out at the same time. If there's a certain race you want, you better damn well hope they release it. People still buy the game and all the add-ons 14 times across on platforms. I mean, Special Edition already includes all of the DLC already. People still Oh no, you're talking about thingy. No, you talk, no, you're talking about the next Elder Scrolls. Yeah, sorry, I'm being stupid. Um, people still buy the game and all the items. Finally, because some blah blah, the game industry implodes and you get the end of it. Get mad. I mean, when you can just keep re-releasing Elder Scrolls games and everyone will buy them because Elder Scrolls and the amount of content that is in Elder Scrolls, like Elder Scrolls. Oh. Oh, why are you that? Okay.
That big boy survives a grenade to the face and then multiple shotgun shots afterwards. Like, that is a guy that can withstand a lot. I want whatever he's wearing, like, seriously, that's some good stuff. Whatever it is. <clears throat> oh, hey, look, a place where we have to fall down. That's not a loading transition. I'm actually really surprised by that. Okay, I'm just gonna quick save here. Uh, he's wearing the fridge from Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. Oh crap, another robot. Die already, thank you. Okay. Jesus, they th th those robots take a lot of damage. Like way more than I want them to. But oh no. <laughs> Physics. Oh crap. I do really love that, how like if you've got your uh, flashlight turned on they will shout out flashlight when they see it. There's just like loads of small details like that with the AI. That's a gun I want. I want that gun. Can you drop it please? Thank you. Like there's a lot of small details with the AI that I really love in this game, but... Also the combat is just fun. Wait. Wait, I dropped the shock. No, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. But. 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 Uh? How? I'm just gonna go and see if I missed anything over here. No, I didn't. Okay. I guess we're going forward then. Yeah, I mean, this gun's really cool, but I'm probably not going to use it much. Actually, it does have like a longer... Yeah, that does have a actual longer range thing on it. I'm just going to quick save there. Because uh, I just realised I'm not quick saving much. Yeah, I'll see if I can actually sort of like get that voice line trigger. Do you want to... I'm not. I mean, to be fair, I was kind of close to them, so I can see how they'd think I was rushing, but... Didn't mean to do that. Uh... <laughs> yeah, just opening that door into nothingness is, um... A little bit unsettling. Okay. Hold on. Transmitter's a piece of shit. Don't know there's nothing in here either. It's standing still, yeah. Uh okay, no, this has to be a loading transition, right? I have no clue. At this point, like anything could be a loading transition. There you go. There's a drop which actually led to a loading transition. Okay. Impressive. And now I can't go back up. <laughs> because that's how it do. Uh... Uh... Do I go now? Oh 
ça. Ouais, bon. But I can't fit through this. Okay. I thought. Oh, there's a window, that's why. <laughs> yeah, it would help if I could see the window, but. Um, call me. Call Mel. Oh, great. Oh no. But he's not. Is that the same hallway? What hallway is that? Is that this hallway? I don't know what hallway that was. I, that was probably supposed to be spooky if like I actually knew where it was, but I I don't know. Okay then. What is going on here? Satellites, right. Also turbines and rockets. That's a lot of stuff to build your corporation around. I'm not sure if like, <clears throat> I'm not sure if they've actually like, I, I don't know, there's probably a law that I'm missing but it's probably just a lot of law that I'm missing actually now that I think about it. Uh, satellites, missiles, and engines. Cool. Wait, is the actual like, coffee pot separate? Game of the year. <laughs> Game of the year. That, that doesn't make a sound. That, that makes no sound when that breaks. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, alright. It was nice having you around. Uh, have fun with your wife. Uh, uh. Make sure this doesn't happen to you. Talk to you later. Okay. Uh, where's the fun? Where is the fun? Where's the damn fun? Potential. Because it's growing, I get it. <clears throat> I feel like I'm dying a little bit, that's fine. I might just be coming down with something. Uh... looking for? I keep asking this because I don't know what I'm looking for but... What am I looking for? Huh. Well, I guess that's what I'm looking for. Oh, there's nothing even over there. Okay. Oh, wow, I went the wrong way. <laughs> the ladder was right there. Good. I am just looking at things incorrectly. Maybe I should... Maybe I should try using my eyes a little bit more. It's amazing what you see when you have eyes. Wait, where am I? That doesn't happen. Okay. That seems like the right way to go, so I'm not going to go there yet.
There isn't even anything else up here. Really? I just came up here for armor and that's it? Okay. Fine. I'll just go up there for armor and then shotgun and punch windows and then have an auto save and then go over here and realize there's no glass I didn't mean to jump through that but I jumped through it A mug. Executive business. Andrew Griffin. He definitely looks like a dude that knows his shit. I trust him. I don't know why I keep breaking everything. Like, oh crap. Uh. Uh. Come towards me, please. Thank you. Oh, you're not gonna move towards me, are you? That just about did it, I think, so... Not a huge problem, but... Oh god. I can't see because of the blood. Uh... Wait, did I kill them But I killed them both. So what was down here? Oh, my phone. Yeah, I feel like most of the time when I'm like wondering what's over here is the answer is just nothing. But I don't know, sometimes there's actually like something there. And I live in hope of that like 2% of there being something. If they were to have used the flanking line that time, it would have actually made a lot of sense because I actually was that time. Most of the time they say I'm not flanking, but... That's how I was. Okay. I think I found everything in this area now then. So it's just stuff over here that I've got to deal with. Oh crap. Was, was she right there? I didn't even notice. 
I, I, th I think like her thirst might have been there for like a second, but I honestly didn't even notice it, so... <gasps> okay! Placing down mines and then not actually using them. I really need to like not do that. Okay. one of these uh, sequences, right? So two up there, two down there. Is that everyone? That might be everyone. I'm gonna guess that's everyone because I mean like there's no there's nobody else going in the room, so it must be everyone, right? That tends to be how it works. If there's nobody else there, then everyone must be there. But no, that's not how it works. <laughs> I said that wrong, but same, same difference, you know. If everyone's already dead, then everyone's dead. Simple as that. Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going now. There is a lot of backtracking in this and I don't remember what was locked earlier. Do I have to go all the way back? Wait, I just went around in a circle. Yeah, I just went in a big circle. That's what I did. So it must be over here? Here it is, okay. Well, now I don't know which way I want to go. I could go this way, but I could also go the other way. Okay, that way it doesn't actually go anywhere. Oh no. I was gonna say, well that narrows it down at least because it means there's only one way I can go, but... I don't know if there was anyone else in here, but um, if there was, they will also die. And that is how it works. Oh. Hmm. 
There we go. Oh crap. Yeah, I need to stay a little bit focused. That's not good. Where'd that go? Okay, that should be fine. I am not a fan of hearing voices everywhere. They know where I am. What's the second guy also up there? Yes. Okay. Oh no! I keep like thinking I've killed everyone and then someone else just comes out of nowhere. It just fucks me up every time. Ugh. Every single time that happens, it's just like, oh, I should be fine. Oh no, when? Oh no. I don't like that. Mm. I don't like you either. Please go away. Thank you. Uh, I think I'm okay. Hopefully. Please. Please be okay. Oh god, there's so many more. Wait, he's over there now. Then you're there. Okay, that was the smartest mine I've used so far. That was probably my best one. Can you... I can't see anything. Okay, he's dead I think, yeah. that there was another one behind that wall. I didn't know that. Good. Thank you. Entering into the combat zone. It's like Twilight Zone, but for combat. Right, I'm a shot. I'm already on full shotgun. Okay, so this is where it, the combat starts. Where? Well. They're in different places this time. Please die, thank you. Okay. <sighs> right. 
that sword. So another health kit there so I can stay on max. Good. Right. All that out of the way. And go on to the next area with a bit more health. A bit. How many how many mines do I have? Two. Okay. No? <laughs> okay, that... That felt pretty good. Just walking up the stairs and taking down four people at once. That, that felt pretty good. Especially considering that this is on the hardest of goalie. Uh, okay, that guy's already dead. Uh, was there anything down here that I actually missed? Or? I guess I might as well use a first aid kit, because there's more that I can find anywhere. There's a lot of first aid kits in this game. Uh, nothing there. Right, I should probably save here then so that if I die again I'd have to go through all this. I like that. Okay, no I really don't like that. Mind. It's okay. Uh, regular grenades, I have more of them. Okay, so this is where I died, right. No, it's not here. I thought it was here, but it's not. I'm gonna reload that so I can actually do that properly. Uh... Actually, no, it was here, wasn't it? Oh no. You're the guy that killed me last time. Okay, right. Okay. Nothing bad happened this time. Oh, God. How did the fun get in the ceiling? Uh... Uh... Okay. You know what? I don't want to know how the phone got in the ceiling. That's one of nature's many questions that I don't want answered. I will, however, go this way. I'm not going to ask how that guy was able to shoot accurately like that, but... Um... That was close! Uh, 
I'm guessing I picked that up. Yeah, I've got a bit more on there now. Okay. I'm... You're not one of them. I've pretty much given up on being rescued. Thank God. Okay. Give her a calm way. Hello. This way. We're gonna get you out of here, but you can have them move quickly. I need to get to my dad. Where is he? Some kind of classified facility. I've never heard of it. There isn't even a street address, just UTM coordinates. The entrances are all hidden, but I have passcodes. Looks like I've already got the data. First things first, get to the roof. The hellos are on the way. You mean a helicopter? Can we drive instead? M my car's downstairs in the parking lot. Two messages. Afraid of flying? First kind of. Trust me. Show cameras. You're safer in the armor. Yeah, right. Look, I know how you feel. I don't see any alternative. We need to purge the wall. Somebody's got to okay. Let's go get my dad. An escort mission that isn't really an escort mission, thank God. What? Don't worry, your father will be joining you as soon as we pick him up. Uh, no way, I'm not going anywhere until I know he's okay. Forget it, I'm not taking any more chances. Say goodbye to the phone when I'm going to see it again. Unless that somehow happens again, but I don't think it will. I don't even know like how, what caused that to happen in the first place. That was just really weird. Uh oh. That grenade went too far. It went too far, but you could also say it didn't go far enough. Because it did actually still him, it just didn't do much damage, I'm guessing. But because I, he was already on the health, because I shot him a bunch, he kind of died from it. Uh, no, why can't I? You don't mess around, oh, do you? Right, I understand. I understand now. Is it gone? I get it. You want to be the one to press the button. Why are all the floors lighting up? Uh oh, somebody's pressing the call buttons. Get ready. Why did I go off? Oh, we're on eight. Did you just throw? A he did throw a grenade. He, he threw a grenade into the elevator. You should be dead. Eight. Well, I guess the next stop is ten. Here we go again. Okay. I'll use that one as well. And that should be about everything. Twelve? Come on. I'm ready. That guy was still alive. He could have shot me in the back if I hadn't done that. Uh, there's nothing else over here, is there? Yeah, I didn't actually need to leave on that floor. Okay. You don't have to kill everybody. Yes, I do. It's very important that I kill absolutely everyone. Sorry, I freaked out. I'm just not used to being shot at. I'll kill you in a second if you don't What's stop freaking out. Oh, uh, it's the 13th floor, so it's supposed to be unlucky. I get it. Ah. Uh, it's clever. See? 
because 13 is an unlucky number and uh, is associated with bad things happening. So bad things happen on floor 13. Haha, <laughs> get it? Because uh, there's clever writers. Floor 13, oh boy. I say bad things happen, it, it, it just means I get to kill more things, which isn't bad, but... Like, I'm happy with being able to kill more things. Where? Why is there a room over there? Oh, it's just scenery, what am I talking about? Yeah, it makes sense why there's a room over there. Wait, can I actually go this way? No. Yeah, anytime there's an obvious vent, it's probably intended. That's the way you're supposed to go. Uh, I'll probably carry on with this until I get to the end of this area, and then... Uh, I mean, the end of this mission is actually coming up, so... I'll finish this mission, level whatever, and then I'll move on to the next one tomorrow? Not tomorrow, I don't know then. Oh my god! This is crazy! I am not waiting here! My dad's in danger! Your dad will be fine. You're the one I'm worried about. You just need to calm down. Oh, I actually need that one. Okay. Wait, they saw me? Yeah, I guess the element of surprise is gone now, huh? Fuck solely when I've got guns. Like, who needs Sully when you can just shoot everyone in the face until they are dead? Like, really? Um. Yeah, I think that's about it for this area then. Go. Okay. do I have to go now then? I mean obviously it's over there but I'm still just looking around to see if there's any like secrets anywhere. There probably isn't. Yeah it's just over here. Okay. There we go. <laughs> really you're about to blow yourself up just to kill me. That's impressive. Like, that guy was willing to go to such extremes just to stop me. No pistol on her. Anything with the yeah, other is okay. I was gonna say there has to be something around here that I can pick up. Oh, 
Is this where the drones come in? Is this this is where where, where we would see the drones, right? This is where we encounter the drones. Ah, oh, the photocopy. This is such like a nice example of the lighting in this game, like. The, the lighting in this game is really nice, but... I mean, the combat's fun. The lighting's nice. The weapons are satisfying. The enemy AI is... difficult. Difficult enough. It's not, like, too difficult, but it's also not too easy either. Again. Uh, just out here. Oh, the, the sound effects just cough. The creepy ambience. Goodbye, ambience. Hello, different ambience. That is twelve thirty. It is now twelve thirty. Um, give me a second because I just noticed I had some notifications and uh, I'll just call it on the stream. And I will check some notifications real quick because I just want to make sure I'm not, I'm not missing anything. Um. And now I can carry on with what I was doing, which was getting killed by drones. <gasps> I didn't mean to do that. I'm not sure if you can tell that I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Mm. At all. That really worried me for a second. Okay. I'm now one grenade down. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. Um, I thought those drones would have got quicker, but they didn't. They went up way slower than I was expecting them to. Okay. Don't throw a grenade this time. Okay. Okay, this is a way better go through that room this time. Um Yeah, there's nothing else over here that I can pick up then. That's a shame. Actually, use that. I don't know why I'm not. Okay, so I think I'm going up on the end of this level now, anyway, because I remember it ends pretty soon after you. Why? Perfect excuse to use the mines.
He's close. There we go. And then... Not the effects I wanted, but... I wanted it to go down and bounce into him, but... It moved him closer to me at least, so that's something I'll take it. over the fan. Okay! Didn't mean to turn on the flashlight. Torch, whatever. The fuck? There we go. <laughs> uh, again. That's not good. Wait, what was that affirmative for? I missed it. Just move now, please. Wrong button. Uh. I'm not trying to do anything, I'm trying to stay alive. Uh. Oh, you disappeared. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, was that armor? No. Oh, there's armor. Uh, right, so that's 10 again. I should probably use one right now because I'm kind of low on health. I should be able to find one again pretty soon anyway, and if I take more damage then that's fine. I'll just stay on 9 for a bit. Uh, is everything reload? Well, I've, I've haven't used the other gun at all yet, so yeah, of course I've reloaded when we're talking about them. Ammo. I almost missed that. That would have been so bad if I'd missed that. Okay. Yeah, I'll finish up this level and then I'll end the stream. This has been pretty long actually, it's almost three hours. Crap. I might actually have to use this for once. See, situations like those that I've been serving this for when it's just impractical to try and close the distance and, uh, you know, give me a chance to show off the uh, pulse, whatever the fuck it's called, the particle 
gun rifle cannon thing. That one, yeah. The particle something. The particle beam. The particle like a disintegratory gun. That thing. You know what I'm talking about. Oh crap. Uh, if I bounce grenades all over here... That seemed pretty effective. That killed everyone. That, that killed everyone. Okay, that... That was incredibly effective, I take it back. That was actually, like, more effective than I thought it would be. Um... Oh no. Crap. That's not good. Why am I sliding? Okay. I have no idea how I'm not taking more damage in all of these firefights, but uh, encoding was overloaded apparently. I don't know why encoding was overloaded, because it shouldn't be, but I hope that didn't like affect the stream at all. It might have done. This way. It's good to see you in one piece. Okay. You guys can make out later. Just get that bird in the air. So then that should be that then, because then this will be the final level. And the UTM coordinates from Wade's lab to have a right. This should be an auto save, Urban Decay. That is today at now, so yeah, I'll end up the stream there. Um, I'll finish off here tomorrow and then I'll move on to the expansions later on. I might just kind of like, I think I might just get like all of Fear out of the way right now, except for Fear 2 and 3 because I don't have those. I only have Fear 1 and its expansions, but yeah, I think what I'll do is finish Fear now, do the expansions, get that out of the way so I can cross that off my list of games to do, and then I can move on to some of the other stuff. I don't know when I'll carry on with Oblivion because Oblivion is kind of a bit of a pain to do sometimes, but yeah, I'll carry on with that at some point and I'll start some other games as well. For now I just want to like finish up the games that I've started but haven't finished, which includes Fear. Um, so thank you for watching, I'll be back again tomorrow? Either tomorrow or Monday. Um, yeah, either tomorrow or Monday. It entirely depends because I, I do want to stream more often and there isn't anything stopping me from streaming every night. But I also do feel as though like if I do it every night I'll start to get burnt out, so I don't want to I don't want that to happen. Um yeah. It'll be either tomorrow or Monday. Depends on on how I'm feeling tomorrow night. Uh thank you for watching. I'll be ending off the stream there and I will be back again hopefully finishing off here in the next stream. Uh, and then on the Thursday I should be finishing off 999, which means I'll be able to start on Virtue's Last Reward uh, either Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or most likely it'll be the week after next week. So the week starting 23rd. 
Um, and then I might be able to get Virtue Slash Reward finished that week. If I don't, it'll run over another week, but I'll finish Virtue Slash Reward, then I'll do Zero Time Dilemma, and then that will be Zero Escape finished up. Um, and then I've actually finished a series of games for once. <laughs> instead of starting a series and then not ending up finishing it. So yeah, um, I'll be back again tomorrow night anyway, with hopefully finishing up for you. So thanks for watching, I will be back again then.